so I'm using the D capper and you want to use of course the smaller side of it and this is the best tool that I bought for my practice is this D capper and you just decap it carefully so you keep the rubber on because you discard and then you can gently open uh, try not to touch the rubber so it stays sterile and for Glabella, which is a own label, um, similar to the Botox of 20 units, so you will be withdrawing 0.5 ml in your regular Botox syringe. And make sure that you don't touch the tip of the needle to the gloss, because it will dull the needle and patient is not going to love it. So I just for the draw, make sure there's no air bubbles. So 0.5 of this reconstitution gives you 40 units, and that is a standard dose for glabellar area, and which is equals in amount of active component to the 20 units of the Botox. Okay, that's all. So this one is ready. It's going to remove the bubbles and make sure it's nice and full. Um, also, sometimes when you reconstitute, it may appear a little bit cloudy at first. So do not withdraw the product until that slight cloud cloudness appearance is gone. So only withdraw when the solution looks completely clear as such and this is you're ready to inject so now i'm going to show you what that looks like once everything is drawn up for each area individually so first area is the area for glabellar so here we're using 40 units of doxify on label which is equals to 20 units of botox and i'm using syringe of 0.5 ml and this is really easy to use one syringe versus two smaller syringes because you don't have to switch them and you just inject the usual way that you would for glabella for the frontalis for patients who i see and for a lot of patients who i want a little bit of lift for the brows and not to have in the frontalis i uh, drop the 2.5 and this is equals to 20 units of doxify or equivalent to 10 units of botox And then for the lateral acanthus lines, it is two of three ml syringes. So it is total of six ml. And this is equal to 24 units of Botox.